you have any clue what's going on? I'm Doug Brokell, by the way. This is my first time getting to host the show. Whitney, Whitney Nick. Nick. Nicholas Kasbaum, Sergeant in uh, Michigan Army National Guard. I was in uh, a military police company. I'm in a position now where I can look into the camera and say, you know, America, let's step up. Do you have any idea what's going on? Well, just what uh, Whitney told me. Name's Whitney Lesser, uh, Sergeant E5, military police. Michigan Army National Guard. Completely unexpected. Uh, it was kind of like, Whitney, what are you doing here? Cruising through the channels on a Saturday and I seen the show come on and it's, it's, it's one thing that just kind of, I had to watch. It's, it's our duty to, to give back to those who gave. This week on Veteran Outdoors, VO pro staffer and Major League Baseball player Doug Brokell hosts this episode as we visit the panoramic views of the Wagon Hound Ranch in Wyoming. We're surprising U.S. Army veteran Nick Kasbaum with a trophy mule deer hunt. Nick's longtime friend and veteran, Whitney Lesser, joins him on this exciting adventure. Their stories will be told on this episode of Veteran Outdoors. Several years ago, a small group of friends, both veterans and civilians, banded together to make a difference and to pay tribute to our country's veterans. The mission was simple, to honor our country's wounded veterans' service and sacrifice by surprising them with dream adventures. These are their adventures. These are their stories. This is their show. Veteran Outdoors, giving back to those who gave. Veteran Outdoors, presented by Ambush Firearms. Don't just hunt, ambush. Polaris, see the hardest working, smoothest riding off-road vehicle now at your local dealer. Charlie Bravo Aviation, freedom in private aviation. Anti-monkey butt powder, they cover our butts, let's help cover theirs. And U.S. Optics, engineered for superior performance. Veteran Outdoors wants to have you as our guest hunter and we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and we're gonna have a great hunt and it's all on the thanks of this gentleman right here, Matt. I'm Matt Kelly. I'm the outfitting manager here at Wagon Hound. Uh, I grew up in Montana in the outfitting business. I just got up one morning and the veteran was telling his story of you know, how he got wounded and over in Iraq and um, it was just very intriguing and I watched the, you know, just watched the rest of the show. And at the end of it I was literally choked up <clears throat> and that, you know, the first time I hunting show had ever moved me at all so I immediately went to the website um, next day I got a hold of Cody and uh, expressed my interest in donating a hunt and then I contacted the owners Art and Catherine Nicholas and they were all for it so a year later here we are alrighty well I've got your beer license the whole thing about uh, coming on this trip uh, was pretty much a complete surprise for me we have Gotten you an antelope tag that uh, was your surprise. That I did not know. Um, I didn't know I was going to shoot any animals. I expected just to come out here and uh, kind of be Nick's, Nick's guy. You're not left out in the cold either. <laughs> That's right. Well, so, I appreciate it. Uh, Sergeant Nick Kasbaum. Um, he's been a good friend of mine for a long time and everything came together right for him. Helping Wagon Hound and Veteran Outdoors to get Nick this, uh, this amazing animal. I'm from uh, Kearney, Michigan. Pretty much uh, born and raised there. Went to school in Kearney, graduated from there. Um, I have a wife and uh, one son who's uh, 17 months right now. And uh, before going into military, I was a high school student. Joined uh, in my junior year, I did uh, basic training. And in the following year, I went back and did uh, my AAT training for military police school. I spent uh, eight years in the Michigan Army National Guard. Uh, two years where I was inactive, but I was deployed to Iraq at that time, so I had to uh, complete those two years of uh, being in inactive. Game Guard is is the company that supplies us our camo. Yeah, this is this is a camo that we use down in Texas a lot. You're gonna have to supply your own belt. Yeah. yeah but uh, you know they they've done such a good job with us. It, it, it allows us to give our guys an outfit to wear. Um, obviously here we have to wear some sort of orange. We always give our hunter a gun. 
Uh, we chose a 308 because we're hunting mule deer. So tomorrow what we'll do is we'll get that baby sighted in. We're gonna go get us some animals. All right. I'd like to uh, thank Veteran Outdoors for the 308 uh, rifle. I deployed uh, twice, once to uh, Bosnia and Hungary, and then the second time was to Iraq. Uh, my average uh, work day while in Iraq, uh, for part of the time we were convoy security, which uh, we spent pretty much 16 hours a day working. Usually get uh, maybe four hours of sleep a night. The rest of the time we'd spend during the day driving. Nick got his rifle that he's received as a gift and we went in to sight it in at the range. And that's always a little nervous as a guide because guys come here and they usually get a brand new rifle, haven't shot it very much, and that can lead to some real problems later on. We got there and Nick shot a couple times at 100 yards. Uh, we adjusted the scope because it was a brand new scope, everything looked good, and then he went to 300. And I was very impressed. Closed captioning is provided by Source One Distributors, committed to the mission. Anti-Monkey Butt Powder understands the freedoms we have as Americans and supports Veteran Outdoors. They've donated thousands of items to our troops. And during this season of Veteran Outdoors, they will donate $1 to support our program, plus in an item to our troops for every bottle of powder purchased on their website. As someone who spends a lot of time outdoors, I know that chapped, irritated skin can ruin your day. Anti-Monkey Butt Powder helps you stay comfortable all day long. So remember, the troops are out covering our butts. Let's help cover theirs. Only Polaris delivers the ultimate combination of power, suspension, and agility. The only trail-capable side-by-side, Ranger Razor. The only sport performance side-by-side, -side, Razor S. The only four-seat sport, Razor 4. And the only extreme performance side-by-side, -side, the 88 horsepower, Razor XP. Razor Sharp Performance only from Polaris. Huge rebates and low financing are available right now during the Polaris XP sales event. I'm a hardworking American, raising a family, helping my neighbors, and appreciating the men and women in our armed forces. I also happen to sell private planes. Sure, there are celebrities who jet around the world, but 90% of the private aircraft in the U.S. are flown by small and mid-sized businesses. Companies that use planes to get to remote locations or respond in a crisis enjoy profitability that shows what a competitive advantage private aviation can be. A big thanks to the men and women who defend that freedom. This segment of Veteran Outdoors is brought to you by Sarasport, the ultimate hydration and performance drink. We've got you uh, a 308 that's sided in. We're ready to rock and roll. Um, we got you a custom knife from Redwood Knives. Um, hopefully we can put this to use and uh, let's go out and get us an animal. All right. I don't know guys. Let's, uh, we know where these are. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's run up over here. Uh, I've been uh, working for Wagon Hound since uh, 06, and um, it's, it's just a lot of fun, and especially having the opportunity to, to help out our, our soldiers. And we can come in. There's a creek bottom right up over here. Okay. And we can come right in over the top. They're not going to leave this area right here. They're out of the wind down there. Uh, we're on a convoy security mission. Uh, we we're just uh, leaving out of Baghdad. Um, I believe there was uh, maybe 10 vehicles, Humvees, and then we had uh, escorting semi-trucks to bring supplies up into a place called Taji. And about maybe 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, we were uh, struck by an IED. My uh, vehicle was uh, blown up. My uh, gunner was severely injured. A uh, semi-truck that was pulling us was uh, blowing up. There are two people in that truck were severely injured. Uh, my driver was uh, 
injured uh, quite severely also, glass in her eyes and uh, hair uh, burn, same thing for me, hair burn. Ended up getting shrapnel in my hands, in her legs, piece through my calf. Well, I called in on the radio that we were uh, hit and then uh, we got the defensive position set up around Humvee. And then uh, I realized that my uh, soldier had been wounded and myself and my platoon sergeant uh, took him out of the vehicle and we uh, provided aid to him. And then after, shortly after that, I couldn't help him anymore. I uh, was uh, ready to pass out myself. And I had to get water and, and sit back and wait till the medics came in their uh, APG to uh, pick us up. To get Nick uh, a setup for his trip, we didn't really want to give him any, uh, any inclination of anything going on. I basically looked to his wife and kind of asked her to make sure that, that we'd be able to do this. I just asked her and uh, she kind of said, yeah, we should give it a try so we can put it together for him and then uh, figure out the logistics and uh, getting him off work and getting him out here and hunt of a lifetime. As we started, uh, for my surprise antelope hunt, we went through and we glassed. Um, there's an incredible amount of, of animals on this ranch, a lot of quality animals. Um, we went through, we, uh, we found a couple good ones here and there. Um, um, we kind of did what we could to get around them and, and try to get them in a good, good position to shoot. The timing wasn't right, the range wasn't right. I, I think what I really enjoyed the most was the anticipation of our hunters getting here, getting to sit down with the guides and understand how the animals work on this ranch, where they are. You know, when you look at a, at a place like this, Wagon Hound is so massive that you cross one fence, one cattle guard, you look at 50, 60 antelope, it's just, it's so, so peaceful out here. What started out as a small local project has grown into a nationwide movement. It started just as an idea. The boot campaign was created to generate American awareness about the needs of our military men and women returning home from combat. I said, you probably have the best idea I've ever heard of when it comes to supporting the military. You know, take a moment out of your busy day and put yourself in their shoes for a second. Find out how you can help support the boot campaign by logging on to bootcampaign.com and get your boots on. Veteran Outdoors is proud to have country musician Kyle Park as a lifetime member and sponsor of this segment of VO. It's day two in Wyoming. Uh, yesterday we started in our rifles. We presented the hunter with a bunch of uh, the free stuff that uh, we get from all of our, our sponsors. Um, we glassed for hours and hours and hours. Saw plenty of antelope and uh, decided not to shoot one. Uh, we've, got a, we've got probably three or four picked out that are really nice bucks. But today we're going to continue the glassing. Um, yesterday afternoon we saw a few mule deer bucks and today we're going to go out this morning for those bucks and hopefully get Nick his, his buck. We got up early that morning to go spot some deer and we were sitting in the pickup looking up on uh, a big hill and hadn't seen much movement decided to move to another spot. All right, we just got word that uh, some guides saw three nice uh, mule deer over another hill, and we're gonna head on over there and uh, check them out. And lo and behold, there were three bucks, probably oh, 150 yards off the road. You saw the three of them up there. There was uh, one that I really liked. See, he's just standing broadside. Mm -hmm. He's got some nice darker color to his horns, okay. and He's a, a little bit inside, uh, probably about right, even with his ears. Yeah. Uh, the back forks are deep. The front forks are a little crabbed, so they're not quite as big. The nice thing is he's, you know, within 200 yards of us, big right. broadside, <laughs> and uh, wouldn't be very hard to drag out. It'd be a good shot, um, pretty view, all that. The decision you need to kind of run through your mind is the second day of hunting this is the biggest one we've seen mm -hmm. if, if we want to take the risk and keep looking for those bigger ones or put a sneak on this one and make you make no. a shot on it put a sneak on this one put a sneak yeah, on this I like one it. i like the way it looks okay yeah let's do that then all right so yeah this this is one that Nick wanted to go for. You know, a lot of guys, they want to get that, that, that 
biggest possible thing they can. Mm -hmm. And you hunt all four days. And it gets the last thing. Yeah, and then you're, yeah, then you're shooting some little thing. And <laughs> it was gonna be kind of easy, really. We're just gonna sneak over here, cross the creek a little bit, got set down on a rock, and for some reason, they decided just to kind of get up and, and move over the hill through the buck brush. And like, oh man, there went our easy shot. So then we uh, started our way up the mountain, which was uh, extremely hard for someone who ain't uh, used to climbing 2,000 feet up in the air. And we're going along up and get one shot or get a sight of them, and again, they move on. So we really had to book it up the hill. Get to the top, winded really bad. The third time, we finally got up there all together. All of us are breathing like crazy. There he is, that uh, four by four that I wanted. The buck, he stopped perfect. Broadside, facing towards the right, and kind of looked back at us. Nick was able to get his gun on a good rest. Took a couple of quick breaths, calmed his breathing down. Got a good shot off on him. Dropped him up there. Hey, you hit him, Nick. You got him. Good shot. Awesome. Nice trigger press. Dropped him, split his heart wide open. Great shot. All right, let's go on up there and get him. And we went up to the top. That was a great feeling seeing that uh, four by four sitting there after all that uh, work. <laughs>